Face, face, egg, Terran, kill Terran to kill off his board. Kill Terran, wipe his board. Oh, that's to all minions. Oh, it's just enemy minions. I okay, so yeah. And then we fill the board. Cool. These two can go. Flame Imp is pretty good for early game tempo, as per usual. He's just, in general, a really good card. Nerubian Egg is solid. Death Sand Cultist is solid. Um, he's not gonna be a 4-drop, really. Actually, no, he might be, because it curves into Conditioning. He'd want to play Conditioning, which would slow him down that turn, maybe. We play the Egg. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Does he hit the 3-2? No, he does not. Okay, cool. I think I hit the 3-2. And then play this. Now, he has to get over this and still can't kill the 3-1. Obviously, he probably has ways, right? But as of right now, we're chilling. Okay. Please don't be Wind Fury guy. Wind Fury Crab Rider. This hand is poo poo. I don't think the hand is poo poo necessarily. I think the hand's not great. Definitely could be better. Oh my god, no. He coins it out. I realize now the mistake. Because that minion dies, and even if I hit this into that, now it's troll. Um. He already played the card he got off of Stage Rider. And he only has four mana, so he can't conditioning and pump stuff up and then trade in. I think that this is a fine play. Next turn I can play the five drop. It immediately dies, gives me a five eight. And a four four. Which will help protect the three six a little bit more. He can't kill it right now. Like I said, he already played the pump up. I guess technically he could if he has Parade Leader and Crab Rider, but the odds of it are low and I need the tempo. Your early game was pretty nice. I think I played it well. I could have just played Defender of Argus on the 1-2 and gone face for a little bit of damage, but I don't think that that would have worked. Okay, that's fine. I literally don't care about ETC. He can do as much freaking damage as he wants to me. I don't care. 4-4 four, four, and 5-8, or kill this and not take as much damage. Honestly, man, I don't care about taking damage. Let's just do that, take some damage, go face. I can't kill that off right now anyway. It's a pretty good turn 5 play. Turn 5, we get 9-12 stats out on the board. It's not bad. Still have backfire as well to draw some cards. Like, I think we're in a good spot here. Whose deck is this? This is Benjamin's deck. I'm not gonna call it Ecore 69 Zoo, but I will say it's Benjamin's deck. Okay, it's fine. It's kind of rough. He does pump up his stuff, but. Two defenders. Two defenders. Two defenders. I was really hoping for a better card. I was really hoping for a playable card, actually. I mean, I could have just gone Defender. But I was hoping for an Egg, or either Egg, or a Flame Imp. Or um, the Cabal Outfitter. Something with a good Death Rattle. That was a really, really bad backfire. I guess we just life tap, then do that, kill off some of these things. It's fine. It's not ideal, but whatever, man. Ch 
trade and then just go face. It's fine. I didn't want to trade with my top minion and he's at 5 HP. Like, he's probably going to be able to kill off a decent amount of stuff anyway. I don't think he's going to be able to kill off the 3-5. And even if he can... What am I supposed to do, man? A little bit rough, but it's okay. We have the um, Vectus, which will give me two good death rattles at least. It'll give me this one and that one. So we can play Vectus next turn potentially with a life tap. We're actually in a decent spot still. He didn't even play conditioning, so it's fine. Let's see. Oof. Okay, well, I, I did say he didn't play conditioning. I guess I kind of lied on that one. Yikes. Currently stuck in gold 2 to gold 1. Played Secret Leaving Paladin. Any suggestions for a new deck to try? Aggro Paladin with secrets, so that way you don't have to change too much. Face Hunter, Rush Warrior, Control Priest. It's the same ones I always recommend. Oh my god, he's actually gonna do it. He's actually gonna destroy my board. And then the 3-5, does he not kill the 3-5? I feel like that's just troll. I kind of want to just play Vectus. Now we'll do that. Good pumps. Some more good pumps. This goes face. I get another 4-4 four, four and some more taunts. We're trying to push damage here. Maybe we can finish them off with Alex Draws in a turn or two. Vectus next turn will be nice. Oh no, he's gonna play all of the like four ones. Oh god, my whole board's gonna get destroyed. Oh god. On the bright side, that's like his last big power play, right? That should be his last big play. He should be out of resources at that point, right? I play Vectus. Look for the one that gives me a taunt. Hopefully eat that. No! I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh, I don't get that one anymore. I can't play that. Oh my god. That's fine. I get one big minion. I get an 8-9, a 4-4, four, four, a thing that pumps up my minions. Alex Straza, we have Defender of Argus as well. I mean, I might be able to just straight kill him, but I'm not sure. If he plays like Troublemaker and that's it and lets me hit him in the face, I think I can still win. It all depends on like what he plays though. I should have Barroned then Outfittered. If I Barroned first, I would have lost. Don't hit my 8-2. Don't hit the 8-2. Don't hit the 8-2. We're so much better than he is, man. We are just better players. Oh my gosh, I 100% won that based off of luck. Oh my god. But if I barrened first, it wouldn't have mattered because it would have eaten itself, right? Like, I, it would have died to the disciplinarian. Ideally, we can draw maybe one or two other things. The flame imp's really nice. The egg... It's fine if we can get something to synergize with the egg, whether it be Defender of Argus or um, Terran or Void Terror or something like that. That would be great. If you wouldn't mind not wrecking me. Oh my god. I don't like that very much at all. Oh, this and this is going to be sick. I think I just played this and then hit him in the face. Because even if he plays Hand of a Doll on it, 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 it dies to a trade. So I might as well push 3 damage. Even if he plays Hand of a Doll on it, it would die. I cannot wait to read these. What? Wait. He's going Libram? Okay, weird. Weird. Unexpected. Somewhat unexpected, I'm going to be honest. I don't need to kill just a 1-2. It's fine. And now we just start life tapping, I think. And start trying to find more resources. I want to say the only thing I don't like about this deck is the fact that it does so much damage to itself. Hand of a... Oh. That's so lame. Wow. 
Wow, I can't even kill it? I have to trade that in? That's so cringe, actually. What the what? I can make this a 3-6, which isn't terrible. Do I want him to draw a card, or do I want to kill off the 3-1? I feel like it's just put a little bit more pressure on the board kind of kind of turn. That's pretty weak, but I don't really know what else to do here. I could have, but the the da the damage just didn't line up. If if the minion he had on the board was a two health minion, he's gonna fireball it. Oh my gosh, he's he, this man has no chill. Zero chill. Trade disciplinarian because he just used a big removal pass. We'll play this next turn, get some sick stuff. If you do this much damage to yourself, wouldn't Flesh Giants be good? Flesh Giant instead of Mortal Coil, perhaps? Because, like, what's Mortal Coil going to do here? <laughs> Actually, we do get to draw a card off of Mortal Coil, to be fair. So, we play this. We double trade. We Mortal Coil this. This stays alive, barely. You draw a card. That's pretty sick, I guess. We get the egg, hopefully we can stay alive one more turn, so that way the egg can get triggered off of that, and we'll win. But yeah, I do think that the Mortal Coil might not be that good, but creator of the deck, if you're still in the chat, Benjamin, um, let me know if you've tried it out or not. Hand of it all? Fudge, man. Oh, it's not Hand of it all! Maybe Libram of Wisdom? Oh, man, it's Libram of Wisdom. Oh, it's cringe, man. It's actually so cringe. Face, face, egg, Terran, kill Terran to kill off his board. Kill Terran, wipe his board. Oh, that's to all minions. Oh, it's just enemy minions. I forgot. Okay, so yeah. And then we fill the board. Cool. Leave him of justice with pen flingers would be the worst case scenario, but that is about it. That would be the only real thing that really destroys me here. We've got lethal set up on board, and even if he wipes it, then we get a 1 3, so that's not bad. Okay, fair enough. We still push 10. It's not bad. Mortal Coil. Life Tap. Defender of Argus. Hit. Let's just keep going face, man. What's he gonna do? We can top deck Alex Straza, we just win, so. It's literally 3 a.m. here. Well, bye, man. Have a good sleep. Don't stay up till 3 a.m. again. Dude, this deck is not bad. What the heck? I mean, yeah, you lose to Control Warlock and Control Priest, which we've seen already, because they just are really good at wiping boards. But, like, Paladin? I think this deck can do well against Rogue. I think this will struggle against Hunter, though, because he takes so much damage, but I don't know. I think if I'm able to just endlessly put stuff out on the board, he'll lose. Backfire is really good, though, for drawing cards. Worst case scenario, we can literally just, like, coin it out turn two. Turn one, coin turn two, then boom, flood the board as hard as we can. Not bad. Not bad at all. In fact, some might even say, pretty good. That's pretty good. I should sleep, too. It's 3 a.m. here. When I have school tomorrow. Dude, go to sleep. As much as I love the support, guys, don't not get sleep to watch me. It's fine. We'll life tap instead next turn. Or we can draw one of our two drops. We have several two drops, which could be great. Um, and then we can backfire turn three. I just think getting out that early tempo is great because he might not have the removal. Like, the sooner we get the tempo out, the less likely is to have the removal. But the longer we wait, the more likely he's just going to draw it, like, naturally. So basically, life tap. We push six damage face. If he has it, great. If he doesn't, or if he has it, that sucks. If he doesn't, great. We push six more damage the following turn. It's 4.45 a.m. in Armenia. Jeez Louise. Of course he had soul share. That's fine, though. Whatever. 
Disciplinarian will be good, assuming, you know, he doesn't have the nuts. The egg is pretty solid. I would have liked to have drawn that off of the card, but that's okay. We'll play Death's Head Cultist. I guess I have a little bit of healing with a Death's Head Cultist. That's nice. What do you think about Face Hunter without Wranglers, Rifle, and Barrack? I think the Wranglers are needed, but Rifle and Barrack are not. You could take out the Rifle and Barrack if you want the budget, but the Wranglers are literally like how you guarantee draw Tundra Rhino and push like 5 damage on turn 5. It's so strong, you need it. This game is so addicting. It is pretty addicting. Why not Thalnos? I think that Thalnos is weird because it just adds another death rattle and I ideally eventually when you play Vectus, you don't want that to be a card. Um Do I want to backfire? If I backfire and don't put pressure on the board, that seems bad to me. I'm still gonna do it and go face. My thought process is, he hits the 3-4 into my 3-2, and I don't have school spirits, okay. He's not gonna play school spirits, he hits the 3-4 into my 3-2, and then I immortal coil it, probably. So he's not even doing damage to me. I get to play Mancrick, which is good. Mortal. Not Terran. Mancrick, please. Thank you. And then turn six, it's gonna be Disciplinarian the Egg. Turn five will probably just be him. Even though it's really weak. Don't really find it addicting though. I was off game for quite a lot of time, got back, got Legend in six days, and now I don't really play. Fair enough, but to get Legend in six days, you had to have played a lot. As I'm telling you every day, we would sleep if we could, and if we could, you would have so few views. You know that might be true, but still. I think that it's better for you guys to be healthier, so you guys can watch my videos and stuff later on, you know? But, I'm glad that you- don't get me wrong, I'm glad that you guys are here, 100%, but, I don't know. This is fine. We play him. He, all he has on the board to threaten me is a 1-3, I don't care. Some soul fragments. Oh god, is he gonna play sociologist soon? Draw all the soul fragments, let's go, dude. He had- Eight in his deck? He's gonna play Sociologist for sure. Oh, that's gonna be destruction. Oh, God. That's gonna be total and utter destruction. Oh, my golly. Okay, that's fine. Deck code? I got you. There's no way! There's- okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I've got it. I've got it. He doesn't have Sociologist. There's no way he has Sociologist. Is the hand this good? I refuse to believe that he also has Sociologist. I should have traded in there. I should have hit this into this. Because now he can very easily kill the 3-6. But, I don't know. I kind of wanted to play around some removal with the 1-1. But I feel like that's kind of troll. You need a broomstick in this deck? Ooh, broomstick instead of mortal coil might be better, actually. Because you still essentially get to do the one ping damage with the broomstick, but you could give things like all of this rush. Broomstick over mortal. Seems decent, actually. School? Unfortunate, but, you know. It's fine. Vectus. I would rather summon two one ones. 
and kill his board. The reason is because if he plays Twisting Nether and this dies, instead of getting left with two 1-1s one that are easy to kill, I get left with a 5-8, which is arguably better. Not even just arguably, it is better. <laughs> so we get left with a 5-8, then we can play... Yeah, there's the Twisting Nether, as we knew it was going to happen. Um, That's fine. Then basically we go boom. And then pump him up. Go face. And then we can try to finish him off with Alex Draws in the next turn or two. And that's pretty sick. But yeah, Broom over Mortal. That's a good idea. I'll do that. It's fine. Cascading. To kill two? Okay. Oh, you killed the... Ah! Oh, GG. Woo! Got him. Ooh, we got him. Okay. Typically, Warlock is a bad matchup for you, but I kind of popped off. This deck might actually be nuts. I'm not even kidding. This deck might actually be really, really good. Like, no cap. I, I've had a lot of fun playing this deck, and it has felt very, very strong this entire time. Broomstick for Mortal Coil. At least one, if not both, and that, yeah. Wow. So this deck is not actually mine, it is a person named Benjamin's, and because of him, I am naming it Zoo without the question mark, because it's actually good. I only put question marks around decks that I'm, like, unsure of, but this deck is actually good. It has a lot of cool power spikes, and it makes me think that Zoolock could actually be good in the near future. For those of you guys who want the mulligans, Flame Imp, um, either of the eggs, Cult Neophyte, and Backfire are the main ones, along with Mancrick, and that is about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Also, notification buttons. See ya.